Yeah. Can you not hear me? Oh, only they can hear me, yeah. Okay. Right, that should have done it. Okay. Right, sorry about that. Oh my goodness, it has been such a rush. Um, yeah, there was some audio problems there for a second, so... Hey guys! You should be able to hear me now. Um, oh, God. I was in a, a call with somebody and everything just kind of was a bit rushy. But, uh, oh, right. It's Monday. Hey, guys. Hope everything's going well for you today on this Monday. It is time to do some more uh, interactable stuff um, today. I've got Carly with me. Uh, yes, there is I am here. Yes. Uh, no chance of a surprise visit from the head honcho today because he's out. Or there might be, I don't know. He might come back maybe a bit later on. Mm, I don't know. But, um, yeah, time to get on with some stuff. Uh, oh. Oh, thank you oh, very showed much. Him, showed him Freeman four months in a row. Yee! Thank you very much. Um... So, yeah, we have um, launched, we, we launched uh, a new version of the uh, alpha um, over the uh, last week and um, we got some press coverage from it and it turns out that everybody's really liking what we're doing. Everything's just been really, really positive. So uh, it's really nice to see because it's been, it's been one heck of a road to get here. But, um, yeah, it's nice to see that people are actually liking the stuff that we're doing. So, uh, yep, that's always good. Um, I spent um, the last two days, uh, Thursday and Friday, um, texturing out this level. The fun thing was um, nobody knew I was doing it, um, except for, I think, Steve and Carly. Um, yep, yep, yep. But I sat down and I textured this whole level as much as I could do. There are some textures that are still missing, obviously. Um, but, uh, yeah, to do this level was a lot of fun. Um, I wasn't able to do it on a stream, sadly. But um, just thought I'd show you guys the end result. This is in um, the alpha version that's uh, currently available to a certain amount of backers. Um, And today we'll mainly be focusing on uh, interactables again, uh, making sure that everything is working as well as it can be. I'll be going through a few different levels, so there'll be the security level. I may do medical. I was doing a bit of medical before the stream. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be up to today. So I'll probably continue the stream for a bit longer because I started later. But, um, yeah. So, um I need to just rearrange some windows here for a second so I can see you lovely people in the chat. There we go. I'm going to be dancing around a fair few windows. Okay, so yeah, if you guys had a good weekend, I hope you did. If you did anything cool, let us know what you did. I went to a Halloween Disney tea yesterday with my friends, oh, and that right. was good. And then we went to Disneyland after. Hmm. Nice. Man, I went to Euro Disney a few years ago. It was so disappointing. The one in Paris? Yeah. The one in oh, Paris. I heard they're very small. It was, and uh, we got uh, food poisoning. Oh. Um, and, yeah. Over overall, it was a bit, ooh, that doesn't work well. Uh, yeah, ov overall, it didn't go well. But um, I heard Tokyo Disney is really good for shopping. Probably, yeah. I imagine they have a lot of cool stuff there. 
let's press that. Oh yeah, this is our. Oh, you, haven't, you guys haven't seen this. Oops. Uh, our new um, exec doors. That's not the best uh, best example. Here we go. So, yeah. Lights up. Ah, that's just the coolest. I love the lighting, the lighting effect built into that. So good. So I turn that off. So what happens when I step in here? The lighting isn't built in this level, uh, so that's why it's incredibly dark. That door um, is so cool, though. Watching it. Mm. Okay, that's bust. Is it because? Is it because I put that there? If I remove that, what happens? Okay. Okay. Ooh, that only goes down there. That's not right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we have been putting in a lot of doors. It's necessary. Um, I've seen all the jokes. <laughs> when are we going to release our, um, our book of doors? <laughs> that should be about there. Book of doors. God. Um, Each page I is a new door. <laughs> I'm sure there's a metaphor there. Mm-hmm. So that goes there. Turn that off. I should go plonk. Yeah, there we go. That works pretty much fine. Might move it down a bit more, actually. That should be fine. Um, I need to go through and I need to alter a lot of these um, repulsor lifts ever so slightly. And I need to do that for every single one in the game. Um, so that'll be quite a task. But we'll get it done. I had a lot of fun doing this level. I was, I thought if I if I'm going to texture one level out of everything, it's going to be the security level because I just love it so much. I don't know why. Uh, I did raise the speed of these repulsor lifts. I tried to match the um, original game. They were too slow. That only goes down to there as uh, well. Okay. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Nope. I have so many bug bites right now. Bug bites. Oh! Oh, gee. Showed him Freeman. Is this a good enough bribe for Alpha Access? Ooh. I don't I mean, know. Just the four months of subscription alone. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier fan. I mean, we should have like a bidding war. <laughs> <laughs> a bidding war of bits for Alpha Access. <laughs> <laughs> That would be insane. Would that be more controversial than the dog versus cat one? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Plonk. Right. Okay, that's good. Oh, guys, I have to show you something cool I picked up the other day. So, <clears throat> the game isn't out yet, which is annoying, but they've got a whole load of Spyro merchandise out. And I picked up this really nifty cup that's Spyro themed. I thought it was awesome. 
And I will put my water in here. Well, that's surprisingly... <laughs> that's surprisingly hard to drink from that. Okay. <laughs> Menacing. I got a new cup while I was at Disneyland for the Halloween thing. Mm. And it's a giant cup with a lid. And it's a poison apple from Snow White. <laughs> nice. It now matches the mug I have that's very similar, but that one's red and it's a mug. Mm. Yes, Sir Kane, you have the right idea. Stay hydrated. I don't know if you guys have seen this, um, the alpha um, people will, but this is our um, version of the energy grating door. Its opening effect is so cool. I absolutely love I that love effect. I love looking at it. Yeah, I could watch that. I could open and close that door all day. You should. The whole stream. Two hours of opening and closing. <laughs> okay. I am getting a sneaky suspicion that something... Someone has changed the... Um, someone has changed the uh, repulsor lifts, so they're all going to be a bit broken. And that is unfortunately in the last build we put out, so that's going to be fun to fix. Oh yeah, somebody gave us somebody gave news us a hundred update. trumpets. Yeah, there's a news update. So, um, sir, the Shodan Freeman has taken first place again by giving us fifteen salt because Wolfenbach gave us a hundred trumpets. <laughs> hundred parties, yeah, that's it. You guys, you're fun. I love you all. This room took forever to do. So, the way we have to texture things, I'll give you guys a rundown. So, when I built this level, uh, I mean, you guys saw it, but I had to build... What what I initially did was I built like if this was let's say that piece that would be two, then I'd probably do a separate piece here of three, then I'd probably do a 400 by 400 piece here. Um, so what I didn't realize was that in order to be able to texture all this, you can't have multiple textures on one face of a BSP. So. While I was doing this, I had to go through and I had to carve up my level into even smaller chunks. So, for every texture you see here, it is a new BSP brush. So, that got split into um, two pieces. That got split into three for a different reason. But, um, yeah, I split all these up and it was just a ton of work. Um, but the end result is really cool. I surprised everybody in the meeting today saying, oh, by the way, I did this. And they went, uh, you did what now? And I said, I did this. And then somebody somebody loaded the map and went, well, hot diggity, you're right. You actually did do this. And I was like, yes. I'm surprised no one noticed I, I know. Oh. Nobody, no nobody noticed. <laughs> OMG, Wolfenbach. He gave 10 more salt to get the first place spot. <laughs> Pay. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Hmm. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, so this floor. This floor was one huge, well it wasn't one huge thing, it was kind of strips of BSP. All this is now, when I don't accidentally move and do that, thanks Unreal. Um, each piece is its own separate block. It was fun to do, but it took quite a while. 
Uh, let's see. That's fine. Oh, God. OMG, Shadow Freeman, 15 bits. I call your one bit and raise you 14. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's gonna be like an auction. Do I hear sixteen? Do I hear sixteen? I've got seventeen now. Do I hear eighteen? Sir Kane's asking y'all buying donuts for that sub slash bit money, and I remember Steve mentioned something like, um, with this stuff that we wanted to do something special, but we haven't planned yet. But we want to show our devs all the appreciation, but we have to find a way to do it because everyone's remote. So we haven't planned what to do yet. That's the difficult thing sometimes. So obviously, because we're all not in one building, we can't have like a huge party or anything. We all kind of just have to go. You're in another country. I guess it sucks to be you, kind of. But here, you know, have fun. You know, enjoy. And it's, you know, it's it's like that. You, that's just how it is. So, what is that? Well, three. Well, is that three hundred angry faces for first place at four one one. Give us the 411. Yeah, here's the 411 on that. Or is that 611? I don't know. I have it's no 4 -1 -1. idea. 411. <laughs> you guys. Is that Dan's game? Well, yeah. That's technically correct. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything here? Nope. And just by the way, so everyone knows, we, had, we hit over 3,000 followers. 3,011. So that's yeah, cool. that is cool. Green. If people look at general on the Discord, I posted pictures from the Halloween tea, like the food items. Very tasty. Hmm. And I noticed a bit of floor I missed. I'm a big fan of high tea. High tea? Yeah. I go to a lot of high teas. What is that? It's like a fancy tea that you have. Well, I guess you could have it any time during the day, but generally between 12 and 1. We got 400 from Shodan Freeman. Guys, you're crazy. Oh, and <laughs> Gee! <laughs> wow. You guys are crazy, but we love you for it. Wow. 3,000... 3, 3,000 follower Alpha Access giveaway. That could be interesting. Oh, jeez. However, that's something I want to ask for, like, not necessarily permission, mm. but since Alpha stuff, it requires a lot of back-end work, I, I have to check. Yeah, it's... It isn't as easy as it sounds. We've we have a system in place, and you know. I know a lot of people are chomping at the bits, and people mm. sending me a lot of private messages and public messages, <laughs> asking to be in it. And I wish I could just like let everyone in, but it's it's not as simple as that. It might yeah. seem simple, but it's it's there's quite a bit to it. Party Pizza 22 subscribed. Subscriptions Yee. mean you get puppy emotes. You get the bloody puppy. Oh. Yep. Chomping yep. at the triangle. Yeah, because the... <laughs> I said chomping at the bits, which is a real phrase. But oh. the tipping system on Twitch is called a bit. So chomping at the. And he gave us two bit. Right. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> Thank you very much. Party pizza's chomping. Party pizza's chomping. <laughs> it does sound like song. <laughs> Change the font to this. I really don't know why, but this font has a weird name. And we want to shrink that down to... No, point five. Point five, yeah. Point 
I actually was able to... So I, I was so busy last weekend, but I actually managed to sit down and play a game. Uh, I got oh. I got horribly horribly addicted to uh, Little Dragons Cafe on the Switch. Aww. It's okay. So the dragon in that game is so goddamn adorable. It just ugh. he's I... it, it's so damn cute. And he I just I just sat once. I just sat in the restaurant all day just petting the dragon constantly while I was watching everybody else running around surf customers I'm like you guys That's go funny. do that I'll just sit here and pet my dragon and he's just uh, his little tail wags like this when he does when you're petting him and you can give him hugs and you can give him food you can give him steak and veggies and he's he changes colour depending on what you feed him and oh my god it's just like the cutest thing ever I thought I'm going to die you at one point you should take pictures of it and I have in the pit it in the um, gaming channel on discord so we can see hmm I was like, oh, he's so adorable. I'm, I'm going to die if I don't call him work. I've died because my heart has melted. <laughs> um, I sent you a message of an anime you need to check out that mm. has a dragon in it. Yeah, and he's Sundari. <laughs> it's really funny. I like Masatan from, uh, that Masatan one, but it's really yeah. weird. It's like, okay, so if you guys don't know, uh, it's like dragons as airplanes. Um, and yep. so the anime tends to make this really weird thing of, so in order for the dragons to be piloted by people, they have to eat them. It's really strange. Um, and I'm just like, where on earth is this come from? What What is this? It's pretty funny. I know, like... Just people, you just yeah, and it doesn't sugarcoat it either. This dragon, you just go home, and you see, and you see it's legs wrong. dangling, and you just and you see them get eaten. It's like, oh my god, this is really strange. <laughs> but, I saw people make vor jokes. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Someone in chat even said, "Please no vor." <laughs> Oh, it's, it's funny. Yeah. Um. This, this dragon in um this anime that uh we started watching here called a uh, something about being reincarnated into a slime. I forgot the name, but this dragon is like, "What? You don't fear me?" He in the the slime's like, "Uh, no, I'm not afraid of you." He's like. And he's like, well, you have to come here and talk to me from time to time. And he's like, okay. And then the slime's like, we can be friends. And the dragon's like, what? Who said you could be my friend? <laughs> and he's like, okay, I guess I'll go and not be your friend. He's like, wait, I didn't say you couldn't be my friend. <laughs> and he's acting all soon dairy. It's really funny. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I think I've fixed everything on this level. Um, nice. Is that tied to security? I know this door needs security access. Yes. Another thing in that reincarnation slime anime that was funny is that when this guy was dying, he told right before his death, he's like, please delete my hard drive and dunk it in water <laughs> when I die. And we're like, uh... <laughs> and then they show a scene as the guy's being reincarnated into like this fantasy world back in the normal world. His friend just dumps the whole computer in a bathtub. <laughs> mm. I remember um, it's kind of related, but uh, Terry Pratchett, uh, one of his dying um, wishes was to have his hard drive um, rolled over by a steamroller. Oh um, gosh to destroy any unpublished work that he had and they Would did it. Would it go being buried with it? <laughs> You'd have to desecrate a grave in order to get it and then he comes back <laughs> and then haunts you. Um, <clears throat> old style cameras. Oh! Um, yeah, these. You mean these? I guess, maybe? Yeah. Um, we have two kinds of cameras. 
Um, we have the Shodan Lucky Camera uh, with the kind of turning eye, turning eye, and we use these cameras um, for when we want to uh, have a screen, uh, a monitor display a location in the game. So uh, these cameras, because the other cameras move and will track the player. Um, they're not ideal, so we use these that don't move. Um, this will be altered later. I'll probably put maybe a platform up here. It's not interfering with anything, so I might put a just a block there to rest that camera on. Uh, yeah, so that's, that was the thing. Uh, show them, oh, don't mind me just evening out my bit count. Three. Oh my god. Oh god. You guys. Yep. Like this. <laughs> Checky26 is saying Is the Discord server open to public or just Kickstarter backers? Originally, it was a closed server for just Kickstarter backers. And then I think it was about a year ago when we opened it up to public. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and then Wolfenbox just gave us 29 bits. <laughs> He's catching up. I can see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Showdown 5.30, Wolfenbat 4.40. Guys. This is crazy. Yeah. You're crazy, but we love you for it. And we had lots of resubs and new subs. This mm -hmm. is a great day. Um, I think because of... Um how great everyone is maybe we'll talk to steve during a meeting tomorrow to see if we can do giveaways for alpha to see if it's even a possibility yeah and if it and if it is a possibility i'll i'll let you guys all know mm. but if not we'll we'll do another thing to celebrate the three thousand follower thing we'll just have to think about what could be cool Yeah, um, it's something we'll definitely need to talk about before we decide anything. So we're, oh, not, yeah. we're, 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 not, we're not making any promises here. Um, it's something. I know I want to do something for the 3,000 follower thing and all this, but I don't know what it could be. We all have to discuss it. Mm -hmm. I the only thing I need to do in medical here, I, so I I did some extra texture work um, in this level. I will just need to fix all of these um, repulsor lifts. If uh, yeah, if I call them grav lifts, I mean repulsor lift. Grav lift is just easier to say. And I've been conditioned by System Shock 2 to just call them grav lifts. Um, but those are the only things I need to really fix in this level. This level is... Now it's as close to complete as we could want. Um, you'll notice for people who have alpha access, this area I just finished um, retexturing. Because it had been... Um, been f uh, forgotten about we missed it um, but that's fine now I also did the lighting in here I haven't oh okay I also moved the cameras um, to their new temporary home because you could walk into them uh, so I moved them around a little bit I also changed this puzzle as well uh, not much but uh, just so it's easier to reach the uh, reach the actual thing that you're supposed to be re rewiring okay yeah I know right it does look completely different um, 
obviously this will make it in the next update, which will be on Friday. Um, let's see. Any other repulsor lifts around this area? Oh yeah, there's one in here. Also, another cool yet really surreal thing. So, with all the press that we've been having, um, I've been seeing a lot of them on Twitter, and it's so <laughs> it's so weird to see something that you've worked on be featured in a major gaming news thing like PC Gamer or Rock Paper Shotgun. It is super super surreal, but it's also really cool. Um, um, oh, sorry. Oh, are you reading? Are you reading the chat? Uh, are there plans to make the alpha version available for download later for archival purposes? Um, probably not. I don't know. Um, that's something we may have to talk to Steve about. But, um, all the well, so. How Steam works is you um, you create different builds, and um, when you upload a new build, you can select it to be the main one on on Steam. The build that is taken off of being default just kind of gets left there, um, and it will stay there forever until you either manually delete it or merge it with another build. It's kind of it's not well, it's not that complicated, but. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is builds will stay there forever, so... And we have revision history. I don't know, maybe? We could take, like, a build that we're really kind of pleased with, like an alpha state, and we could save it. Um, but, I don't know. We'll need to we'll need to talk to Steve about that. Um, yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Um I forgot how long this level takes to save. Out of all of the levels, medical is by far the most complicated. Um, I think I've fixed everything though. Uh, did Matthew add code for this that I wanted? Yes, he did. Okay. So, I know that this secure... this um, power station requires a security level. I think it's about 75. Whoops, not 4,467. Uh, 75. I think it's about that. I'm going to set that as that for now. Um, but yeah, I'm happy he added that. Um, let's see. That door is locked. Yep. Access card group one. That's correct. You think it's 90. Um, okay. Change that. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think this level is done. There is another button that misses security. 
one that opens the wall to the skates. Oh. Uh, that is... That does have a security level tied to it. I think it's 1%. Let me check. Yeah, I have in my notes here. It must be 1% or lower. Um, is it enabled? Required security level uh, 1%. That should be right. Have you ever tried to do maps for System Shot 2? Um, so, I did try using the Dark Engine editor at one point, but it made me cry. And it's probably made a whole lot of other people cry. Um, so, no. I did mess around, make a few... Oops. Make a few rooms. Nothing, you know... Nothing revolutionary, but... Um, nothing for Thief 1, Thief 2, or System Shock 2. I did make two campaigns for Thief 3, though. And the reason why I used... Um, Thief 3's editor was because it was unreal. Uh, and it didn't crash nearly as much. It crashed, but it didn't crash nearly as much as... I mean, Shock Ed will crash if you so much as breathe at it funny. Um, because it wasn't so it wasn't meant to be a thing that was released they did release it but the looking glass in the restaurant just kind of said look we're releasing this thing it's gonna crash do what you want don't come to us when it breaks because um, I mean these things aren't um, these things aren't you know public facing, you know, you kind of, they're either documented heavily or you just kind of have to figure it out for yourself, and the Thief community was, you know, good at figuring that stuff out, but, uh, yeah, suffice to say, me personally, I haven't touched it that much. Yeah, it can corrupt, it can, it just, it can do it randomly, um, it will corrupt anything you're working on. Um, it's always wise to have backups of anything you do. Uh, we haven't had that problem with this Unreal at all. This has been so smooth going, it's scary. Uh, I am not going to rebuild the lighting though because that will take half an hour. So I Third am going said to... he sent you a message on Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I have that. Oh, okay. Right, thank you. Yeah, I think I have that already noted. I will check, though. Where am I going? This way. Button opens area to the west. Security needs to be 75. Is it set at 75? Oh, so this wall does not have security. Um, I need to get Matt to write some code actually for that. Take a picture of that so that will remind me. Yeah, thank you. That's, yeah. What a pleasant sound. What? The screenshot sound. Oh, yeah. The, the little jingle it did after. <laughs> yeah, uh, what I use is ShareX. So if yeah. you guys if you guys don't know what ShareX is, um, and you do a lot of, um, if you if you just want to send an image to somebody really quickly, like it's on your desktop, but you don't want to kind of go through paint and all that, cropping the image and all that stuff get share x because it is absolutely amazing you press one control uh, key combination now press control print screen you can draw on the screen in like a, a box or you know you just draw whatever you want uh, let go and it will capture a picture save it to a documents folder and you can 
just do whatever you want with it. You can even have them, you know, back up and uploaded to like Dropbox and stuff. You can capture videos, GIFs. It's a really, really, really useful tool. So if you don't know that, check it out. Uh, it's free and open source, so um, you don't have an excuse. This level, I'm just flying around here aimlessly, uh, but this level is fixed up as well as it can be for now. Might as well save it. I definitely know that the bridge is not being worked on at the moment, so I'm going to jump over to the bridge. When it's done. You have no idea how badly I wish I had a Nas right now. <laughs> I'm like so sleepy. Um, don't expect any huge changes. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the Endis logo. So, yeah, that logo, that will show whenever a screen is tied to a camera. Uh, it will not show on monitors that aren't, but it's just our way of kind of, it's bright, it's pink, it's, you can see it from a distance and it's to sort of let you know you know that this monitor that this screen is tied to something so uh, yeah very helpful uh, don't expect any massive changes to the bridge um, this level has not been worked on at all yet um, we're getting very close to it but uh, for now this is blank um, Although, I don't know. I don't know how interested people would be in seeing me do some texture stuff. I mean, not all of this level is um, one texture. I'll need to. And I'll need to go through and check the things that I need to check. Um, I think seeing texture would be interesting because mm. just like, a little bit of everything is fun. Yeah. All right. Sir Kane's asking, what happens if you have a camera point at its linked screen? Is um, oh, then you get, uh, obviously, an infinite? infinite loop, which will cause the engine to die. Because and then are... it uninstalls the game from your computer, and you never get to play it again. And your hard drive might literally explode. I'm sure it will. Yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the bridge. All right, let's fire oh. up the bridge. Oh, pants! I haven't got to save. Uh, all right. Did you I'm say oh pants? Yeah, oh pants. All right, oh farts. Then I haven't got to save. I'll need to quickly run through the game and get to that point. Zap, zap, zap. I thought I had to save for this. <clears throat> Never mind. This level isn't that long anyway. Whoa, okay. Whoops, I accidentally closed the stream. Like, I accidentally clicked X. Oops. I'm back in it, though. Uh, where is it? Did I go past it? Yes, I did. Computer voices. Warning. Bridge separation process. Stage 2. Engines charging for firing. All personnel, leave the area immediately. Also, I don't this like... is really funny to hear because of the delay. 
It helps when I don't let go of control. Warning. Bridge separation hey. imminent. Atmospheric depressurization commencing. Now face your execution, old insect. Eat pipe. Alright, let's do some texturing for a while. Uh, da -da -da -da. So yeah, just need to rearrange some windows here a second. Do you know what the first game ever to have ladders was? Because Cocaine Moon said, I don't think this is the first game to have ladders. Hmm. I wonder. I don't know. I'm sure it goes pretty far back in time, though. Um... Well, it depends on what you mean. Like, freely scalable ladders? I don't know. Maybe this one? Yeah. But Maybe you got to be specific. But, I mean, wizardry had ladders that you oh, could go yeah. up and down. Um, but that was the case if you pressed forward, and then you pressed forward to climb up the ladder, and you were then magically sort of transported to a different floor. So... Um, yeah, it all depends. Right, so this is how we texture. We This is how we do it. Mm-hmm. This is how we do it. Now, some of these textures may not be in the game yet, so when we get to them, we're just going to have to... Skip them for, you know, skip them for now. Uh, of course, this will also mean that you'll be seeing me break down my level um, BSP that I built. Um, because, as I mentioned earlier, you can't have two textures on the same face of a BSP brush. You have to split them up, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I want to uh, don't know how much of it, how much I'll be able to get done in this stream, but I'll go as fast as I can. Well, you have an hour. Let's see what you got. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Am I ready for a challenge? Uh, one, two, three. One, two. So, I have a rule. Um, so, when a texture is off-center like that, uh, sometimes, depending on the texture, it won't look correct. So the rule is, you move it three, then one, two. And that texture is now perfectly in the middle for what I want. So, pop the ducks there. Same here, that's not going to look right now. So, one, two, three, one, two. And that's perfectly centered now. Going to have to do this for all of them. Of course, 
Um, the textures can easily be replaced. So I know this isn't the right texture, but just having the wall in the right the, the the face of the brush, just having it in the right position to put a texture on, will save time later. So I u I use that to make sure it's correct. So yeah. Um, that looks fine. Um, here's a question. Does, uh, Unreal 4 not have, uh, planner alignment tools, like older versions of Unreal anymore? Um, maybe, um... I haven't dived into it too much. Um, it could have. Unreal has become very, very complicated. Uh, I do know what you mean, though. I do remember using them, but I couldn't find them when I was initially looking through. Um, so, maybe. Um, I just haven't personally checked. Okay. I have the um, <clears throat> the content browser off window, uh, just so I have a bigger view here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Luckily, that texture doesn't need aligning because um, its dimension, it, its yeah, its dimensions are exactly the same whether I, if I were to correct the floor or not. So doesn't really matter. Had to change this area um, ever so slightly. This won't match the original game, but it was a necessary change I had to do. Um, and for those of you wondering why I don't select all the brushes, at once and move them. Um, that could cause other problems. I might end up aligning. I, I might end up misaligning more brushes, the face of brushes, than I do actually aligning them. So I don't want to do that. And um, yes, these are the original textures from uh, the first game.
Some people are saying they can't see the video, and some people can see the video. So really? I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm fine, but there's a few people that, and I wonder what will help them. Um. Like reloading, like new browser. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Me either. Sorry. I don't know. Sorry. It's not because I'm zooming around too fast, is it? It's not a rendering issue, or is it just no. flat out the video it just doesn't work? No, those people are fine. Right. Um, I recommend Firefox. I use Chrome. Blech. And Chrome works great. Maybe some zombies will help raise Twitch from the dead for you. Oh my gosh. Does that put him back on top? Was he on top before? Well, he was yeah. on top, and now he's extra on top. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I... Okay, so yeah, I have... Thank you for the bits, by the way. Sorry. Um, yeah, I use both... Um, Firefox for personal. Google is for all of my uh, work stuff. I have Firefox as a backup. Mm. Ah. Uh, so close. Sir Kane says Netscape is the future. <laughs> Um. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh hi. Oh hi. <laughs> oh hi, Steve. <laughs> go to How's Steve. Going? It's going good. How about you? It's going well. Thank you. Had a busy morning, but I'm back now. I figured I'd hop in while I could. I don't know how much longer you've got, but I'll be about here. an hour. Well. 50 minutes. I started late. Technical problems. Um, so I'll probably go for another hour. Uh, six. What are you building out right now? Um, I decided to um, start texturing a bit of the bridge. Or do what I Ooh. can. Uh, I surprised everybody in the meeting today. Said, "Oh, and I did this, this, and by the way, I also textured the whole of the security level." And everyone was like, "You did what now?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah, I was hoping somebody might have noticed beforehand, but nobody checked the files." But yeah, I redid the whole of security, and everyone was like, "Wait a minute, let me see here." And they started loading up the level, and they went, "Well, golly gee, looks like you have." Golly gee, mm. was that their exact words or? Yeah. The exact words oh, were hot, hot, hot diggity. <laughs> Jimmy, Jiminy Willikers. Jiminy Jillikers. <laughs> I 
Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm working on the bridge now. I might as well do some texturing. Um, save some time. Oh, did I do that? Oh, I love myself. Yes. Up and at them. Um. Up and at them. Up and at them. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly, were you going to say something? I was going to tell Steve that there was a quite a funny bit war earlier. <laughs> I see some tombstones in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Also, we're, we hit over 3,000 followers at 3,013. Oh, wow. That's great. I think, um, don't we have a, uh, we've got a, like a Kickstarter social media goal of hitting 5,000 followers on Twitch, or is it more than that? Um, I think, let me double check. It might have been 5,000, but I don't know if it was through Twitch. Let me check. I haven't looked at that in a while, but I know that there's some some stuff coming up that we're gonna have to do. Like somebody's yeah. gonna have to get a tattoo. That's <laughs> you. <laughs> or make John get a butt tattoo. The try up logo on his butt. Yeah, <laughs> brand. Oh, this is an oh no, this is an awkward card. All right, I've got to cut this up into many many pieces. We had some, so if you look at the Kickstarter, uh, we're at 3k followers on Twitch, so that means they get two more points to the backer mission. So we'll have to go through and add point. Oh boy. Yeah, no, there's some, there's some uh, work we need to do on that end to figure out where things are and yeah. Yeah, I'll have to go through that because um, we should, there, we're almost at the tattoo thing, if not at it now. We probably are. Yeah, because I know uh, we're at the play day with the devs, though we have done games with the community in the past, but um, this one requires the community choosing the game. And then after that is the tattoo. A team member gets a Shodan tattoo with pictures. Oh. You have to prove it. Wow. Um, and Does then it have to be Shodan? It says so. That's what it says on the thing. Okay. Because I was thinking, you know, maybe I would just get the... Uh... Uh, try optimum logo on like my calf or something like that would be kind of cool because hmm. if I want if I do a showdown tattoo it's going to be like a whole sleeve and you yeah know. full back piece yeah pretty much oh no this is where things get awful Oh, Sir Kane says we gotta play Bad Rats. No. <laughs> oh, I actually know that might work. Bad oh, Rats? Oh, we could. You know, we could stream the tattoo, actually. <laughs> yeah, we can put it under, um, what's that, like, IRL tag? Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Yeah, so I would, I would volunteer for the try-up tattoo on my calf, but... I don't, I don't know if I want to get another sleeve. I think people could agree to that. It's close enough. Or you can just do, like, the Shodan eyes. Like, the people have to remember that this is something that that person is going to have to live with for the rest of their <laughs> life. So it'd be nice. 
Well, I mean... Mr. Kane is suggesting a Shodan Willy tattoo. So. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ouch. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop. Look at your dongle inside. I'll get a tattoo that just says beep boop. <laughs> Look at your dongle insect. Alright. Okay. Okay. Somebody's gonna get kicked out of here. Beep, beep, Shodan beep, Freeman. Beep, no, he can't get kicked <laughs> out. He gave us 730 bits. He can make <laughs> one bad joke. Okay, well, he just Any did, other so... <laughs> I'm not going to repeat he it either. He wasted it on that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh wow. God. <laughs> it was funny enough to ha have him get saved by the bits. Okay, mm. I, I think he gets a pass on that one. That's that pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it was a double strike because it was inappropriate and a pun. <laughs> and puns are two strikes. A night dive employee is yeah. exempt from the pun strikes. No, they get double uh -uh. punishment. Oh. Yeah, they're even more unexempt. <laughs> Boo. Oh, uh, what did I miss in the meeting this morning that can be discussed on the stream in front of everybody? I know that you did a good job, so you say, Daniel. <laughs> so I say, I say, yes. So you say. Um, uh, Chris and Matilda were just saying how much they love doors. Oh, yeah. Uh, Matilda might does. switch to crates. Yeah. But she'll miss doors. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so the guys wanted a whole lot of you know what is what is needed and the, and i remember uh, chris said if only someone's going to have to make a list of everything that we need and i went i've already done it Bam. yeah we've already got that and i said this is what me and steve went through we we you know we went through the game and found all these assets that need doing so <laughs> go do them so get to work <laughs> um Mr. Kane says Matilda stream when? She told me she's too shy to stream by herself, but she does pop in on Chris's streams to chat. Hmm. Which is always you? fun. It's easier when you have people. What is, uh, did Justin, was there any new uh, artwork that was shared? I didn't see anything in the art channel because nobody posts anything in there. Cause... Um, we'll have to bug people. They had um, a private art meeting after to discuss um, what everyone should be doing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Now I remember I had to extend that room out because it was going to clobber some of the things on the outside if I didn't, so... <laughs> uh oh, someone else wanted to be on the board. Signing Raidwald, if I said that correctly, gave us 100 bits. Now there's three people on the board. Oh man. <laughs> Jonathan is going to murder me for all these lights. He can't because they're in the original game, so he'll just have to. Yeah, yeah. He'll just have to do them. Not my fault. But bearing in mind, this all isn't, you know, final stuff anyway. So. Getting on everybody in the in the chat right now, or uh, <laughs> in the team thing. I'm sure they'll have something now. They all were talking earlier. Yeah, they had an art meeting. Um, so there will be. Um, did everybody talk about um the reception that we got on the 
on the alpha like little video clip that we released? Um, we only briefly touched upon the alpha stuff because I mentioned everyone's chomping at the bits to get in. Oh yeah. And we discussed that maybe we could discuss in private giving away an alpha spot. Like for a celebration of 3,000 followers on Twitch. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, but I wanted to make sure we were good to do that. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, we might want to just extend it to everybody in Discord, everybody on Twitter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, people that follow yeah, yeah. us. Um, I'm trying to think of how we would do it as well. Oh god, this room's gonna be a nightmare. Maybe, maybe we can give away a spot through Twitch, a spot through Twitter, and a spot through Facebook, and a spot through Discord, and that'll be like four spots. Yeah, I mean, I I don't have any particular or is that issue too many? with that. Um, because we because of that wonderful uh, bug reporting thing that you set up, it seems like a lot of the a lot of the little issues and stuff that we're running into. Um, are being tracked, which is nice. Yeah. I still have uh, to go through and make sure everyone's properly, like, using it. Like, I'm in a training process with everyone. I'm training them how to do a bug report. And this is uh -huh. a good way to start. That's also one reason it's good to have a smaller amount of people. Because uh -huh. it's, it's like small training groups. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think we could probably work something out and do a giveaway for four spots. But let's talk about it, I guess, tomorrow during the meetings. Oh, during okay. our like, like our marketing meeting or something. I mean, I approve. <laughs> Yeah, we'll figure out a, a, an easy way to do it. Because I know people are really just wanting to try it out. So this could be nice. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Yeah, also I'd like to just say to everybody, um, if you're not in it, um, we appreciate your patience. Uh, we definitely knew that there was going to be, um, uh, how do I put this? People are just going to want to get in, even though it's not something that we promised or that we offered during the Kickstarter. We, um, opted instead to let people in, uh, when the game was in more of a closed beta, which is, um, off a milestone away from now. Um, so, uh, we're just thankful that we are allowed, or we can put people in this far in, and, and then we're getting some valuable feedback, but, uh, so just be patient. We'll get to everybody soon. Yeah, I, like, I do appreciate everyone's enthusiasm, though. It's nice. And, like, even just the reactions to the video is good. Yeah, I, you know, I, I have to admit, I was even a little surprised at, at how positive that all was because, um, you know, I tried, we should have had a little bit of a, a disclaimer like we have with some of our other videos, like, oh, you know, this is basically alpha again and the all the textures are, you know, they're just the original things from the game and it's all going to be improved, don't worry, and it didn't seem to make a difference, everybody was just in love with it anyway, so... Um, <laughs> that, was, that was that was very nice to see. Mm. Hmm. Oh, and uh, yeah, Shoden Freeman says he's he's playing the Underworld beta, the Underworld Ascendant beta, which I think Underworld is uh, out next month. It is supposedly. Um, I <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing it. 
Yeah, it was supposed to come out in September of last year. Of last year. I remember, so I, I was yeah. a backer on it. Um, I'm very sure that they initially said it had a release date of like, it's either September or November 2017. Um, yeah. Hey, the terrifying man fork, thank you for your subscription. <laughs> Oh yeah, we That's have a, a lot name. of new subs and resubs today. It's been fun. Use oh, he got puppy. the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do, do we want to like? Oh my god, what's that? Um, we're being asked if backers are allowed to post any videos of the new adventure alpha, and right now we're having it as private. Yeah. We're keeping it restricted to a certain channel. Yeah, and a lot of this too, it's like in good faith. Um, we're not having anybody sign uh, non disclosure agreements because, one, we've been so transparent with everything so far um, that even if somebody was to post something or whatever, um, I, you know, it's not something that we haven't shown for the most part. Um, and so, yeah, we're putting a lot of trust in, in the people that we've invited in so far. Um, and we expect everybody to do the same uh, as they come in. Um, but yeah, I mean, as we get further along too, I mean, I'm I'm sure we'll we'll get a little more relaxed on that. Um, it's just great to have people in uh, enjoying the game and playing it as is. Oh yeah, and that's another thing too. Wrath uh, of Ben, he says he can relate to that. Sometimes playing early access games is less than the final play experience when it is finally done. So that is something that I'm sure some people are taking into account too. They'll just want to wait until it's all finished as opposed to getting to experience it. Yeah, we've had um, people that kind of are um, in the Alpha channel and they've mentioned that they're not sure about playing because they want to keep it special. Yeah. Which is also valuable feedback, knowing that, you know, um, though they're seeing all these things, they do want to remain, like, excited, I guess. I can understand that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that that luxury we have seen every square inch of this game <laughs> oh, yeah. over and over and over again uh, but it's still going to be really fun to play I'm hoping that the uh, the various difficulty modes that we um, implement much in the way that the original game had uh, will add some, some fresh um, experiences for everybody Oh, and can we have my pupper as an emote? Oh man, actually, I've got a really good, a really good image of him um, that we yeah. used. Uh, Carly, I'll send it to you here. I'm not sure if we can post yeah. it in. In there, I'll send it to you. We can put it in our um, Discord channel. Which um, one? Uh, the pets, cute animals. One. All right. Yeah, I'll throw it in there. We can we can turn this guy into an emote. Easy. This was the the image that we used on our wine bottle last year when we made wine. <laughs> you made wine, and did you call it Cairo? Cairo wine. No, we called oh, it. Oh yeah, uh, that picture. Party dog. I love it. Yeah, that would actually work for a Twitch emote. If you get rid of the background and just use the dog part. Mm-hmm. Um, if you can get me an image like that, I can do that for another tier sub emote. We can do that? Yeah, for higher tier subs. It's a sub, like, because we're still just affiliates, people have oh. to pay extra. And, like, we can have higher tiered ones. And uh. So, yeah, I've been saving those spots. Um, You know, I can... 
have we not reached that threshold yet, a partner? Because I think I could probably... We haven't. Um, because the partner stuff requires a lot. We're just affiliate. Oh, we're just scrubs, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Feels bad. Uh, um, what dimensions do you need this in? Like a square dimension? Like 512 by 512? or? It needs to come in three different sizes. Let me grab that for you. All right, I'll make that for us really quick. Hey, we can at least add it to our Discord uh, emote, right? Yeah, we can. For now. <clears throat> for now? Yeah, we can. Um, so can saying apply for partner, and it's not um, as simple as just applying to be a partner. I wish it was. Like, you have to meet requirements, and then they have to approve you. Oops. Yeah, and Kilgar's right. Making um, partnership requirements doesn't guarantee partnership. Service does not guarantee citizenship. <laughs> It's funny because I know where that's from. <laughs> I, g I got a movie reference. Holy crap. That doesn't happen very often. That's basically all we do is movie references. Oh, <laughs> Cairo. Poor dog, it's been raining like the last three days, and so we haven't really been able to go on any long walks or anything. Oh. So he's just been miserable. Inside and he's we're trying he wants to play all the time. <laughs> Can you blame him? Nope. I sent you the size thing. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so I was getting a little bit nervous there because um, I was doing all this work and I noticed that there was some BSP corruption going on. Uh -oh. And I was thinking to myself, where on earth is that going to be hiding? Because I will have to spend the rest of the stream tracking it down. But I think I might have just deleted the offending brush, which means I'm okay. Because I don't know if you might have seen me hovering around this area, like thinking, why on earth is that invisible? Um, so when there's, I don't know the exact name for it. I just call it corruption. But yeah, that block was dis that had disappeared, and some other blocks were looking funny. And I thought, oh no, it's happened. Um, but it seems to have gone away, which I'm extremely thankful for. I don't think you should finish texturing this room. The geometry is a bit of a trash fire. It's the bridge. It's... It's the bridge. It <laughs> bridge. It, it bridge. It be. Plus, I kind of have to do it. It's my job. Oh. <laughs> J-O-B. It's my job. My job. Who took that keeps? A strong bed. There's a new season of South Park that's just started airing. Oh, really? Yeah. In the first episode, at the very end, it said hashtag cancel South Park. <laughs> and I'm like, they just want to be done. 
Yeah. I think it's like Family Guy at this point. They're just sick of doing it and they want it to end. Please you know, stop they watching. keep doing a good job. Hmm. If they weren't doing such a good job, we would stop. Do these need to be PNGs? I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know if it's specific, but just do PNG. Okay. Man, if anybody gets who I was just making an impression of, then I'll be impressed. That was Homestar Runner, wasn't it? Shh. Well, a character from it. <laughs> I Eesh, mean, people Eesh, are talking about Homestar. They're talking about Homestar Runner in chat now. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that character is so funny. Teen Girl Squad! Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! The other one! <laughs> I'm yeah. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> What's her face? Cheerleader! <laughs> oh man, that really dates us, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't care. <laughs> All right, party He's dog jumping. icons incoming. I'm just gonna do homestar running impressions now. <laughs> I like seeing the, the images that you sent for it because it's like he's getting closer. <laughs> That's what it feels like. He approaches. Yeah, I wonder if I should put a little border around him or something like the other dog. To make him pop out. Um... Let me test it in our Discord before uploading it, because it has to get approved, and we'll see how it looks on Discord. Okay. Yeah, because I can clean it up a little bit. All right, look in Discord now. That's that... kind of how it will appear. So maybe a border, you can clean it up. What do you think? Ooh, it's a little, a little pixelated, but I guess that's just the, uh, the way that the image looks. Yeah. <laughs> Party dog. It looks really, it actually looks better smaller with the little one. Yeah. I can use that one for uh, Twitch or you can clean it up. Let me know. Yeah, I wonder why. Showed him Freeman says colored border might help. Maybe outline him in pink. Try that. Pink. Blue. I should make one of Artemis for the Discord. So as you guys can see, it is literally a case of, you can't, oh, I suppose I'll show you. I take, I've got my texture window here, it's literally a case of you drag and drop the textures on the walls. You just throw them on there and they get put on.
Oh, showed in. Freeman found more bits. He looked he down. Covers. He found. He looked down the back of the sofa. Thank you. That's where <laughs> bits are always hiding. Mhm. Mm Okay, that works. Yeah, this room looking good now. We have about 20 minutes left of the stream, so if anyone has any questions, let us know and make sure to at us so I can see them. That's some heavy breathing, Steve. Is it me that's doing that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm breathing heavily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh. <sighs> so, hey guys, <sighs> welcome, to, welcome to the stream. <laughs> All right, let's try this. I darkened it up a little bit. Let's see, let's see. And you need all three sizes, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right of passage. My name is Olaf. <laughs> okay, yeah, that room's looking good now, just this middle bit. <clears throat> I need to go through and I need to see if any of the textures that are on this uh, oh, aside from that light obviously um, are actually in the game because they might not be yet because like I mentioned before they might have these might be level exclusive so I know that that isn't though ooh that needs recentering Uh, what am I doing? Just like them all. Okay, let's try these guys. <laughs> I do like the pink a lot. <laughs> He's a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good boy. Uh, he he puts up with a lot. That's about right. Who put Ham Ham in here? Me, because I was streaming the Ham Ham games. Do we have modular paneling yet? 
Motula. All right, there they are side by side in the pet cute animals channel, and the pink does look better, I think. What do you think, guys? Oh yeah, it's it's a little more readable. I need to look and see all this. I like it. I might have um, to get the uh, unedited version of his picture. I don't know. It looks good. It'll be. It gets the point across. All right. I'll I'll submit it to the Twitch emotes. That was some aggressive typing. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. Matt's just saying. Uh... I need to modify a bunch of maps. What are you working on? I just told him what I'm working on. I need to see this. What? Uh, where am I looking for this picture? Pets cute animals. <laughs> oh, I see. I should get a picture of uh, Bella sent over. Have her turned into an emote. Alright, I submitted it. Now, wait. Sir Kane's calling me out for never doing the second Hamtaro game. That's because I need to find a version that will work. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, four. Okay, then. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might as well lay the groundwork for this. So I don't have the texture I need right now. Um, but I will do. Oh, that needs to be much bigger. Can I get away with three point? Ooh, I like the night dive on Five. pink. There is that a screen? Oh yeah, I yeah. So I I mentioned this earlier in the earlier in the stream, but yeah, when we when we have a monitor that is connected to uh, a camera, um, it displays the night dive logo. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that area. That was, uh... That was, uh... Good little area. Right. Let's move on. I've done. I actually, I've, I've done a fair bit of texturing. Let's uh, let's get some doors down.
shield the door. Um, I think I might have already done this. Yeah, I did these. Yeah, just that we, now we've got more doors in the game to put in the game. I can go around and do the ones I guess I missed. You know, that's basically all the game is if you really think about it. It's just going through doors. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's really all life is, too. <laughs> <laughs> going through doors. Walking past doors. <laughs> Opening all kinds of doors. Uh-huh. Sometimes leaving doors ajar. Oh yeah, locking mm -hmm. doors. Yeah, unlocking doors. Kilgore says, slammed in the face by doors. <laughs> oh, once. Once, uh, a long time ago I was in school and I remember leaning against uh, a, a part of the door that when it shuts it closes in, um, like near the hinge area. I remember leaning and somebody didn't know I, didn't know I was there, but I, they slammed the door. They trapped uh -huh. my. They trapped a good chunk of my arm in the area of the door where it closes on the hinge. Yeah. That really, really hurt. They then took off my uh, school shirt, and my arm was effectively just red, like it had done some serious damage. Ow! Mm. I've lost a mini a fingernail to a slammed door. Mm. Oof. I think most people in life get their finger or hand or arm caught in a door. I once had my leg slammed by a car door. Oh. Someone, someone was trying to be polite by closing my door for me, and my leg wasn't in yet. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I've had fingers caught in car doors. That is not fun. Yeah, that happened to me once. Uh. We have about 10 minutes left, so if there's any questions, let us know. About doors. It has to be about doors, or else we will not answer it. Everyone's sharing their tales of doors hurting <laughs> them. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Yes, you did. You joined at the best time. Um, let's see. Wolfenbach wants to know, will there be doors that kill you? <laughs> that would be funny. You just walk through the door in instant death. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be pretty great. Um, because the doors you have to suspect are controlled by the AI, right? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would be okay. funny. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, and if in case anyone in the alpha is in the uh, the chat, anything that's broken right now, it's Shodan's fault, not ours. Just, oh, yes. you know, yep. no bugs. <laughs> Guillotine door, that would be scary. <laughs> uh, will there be a limited edition coming with a full-size System Shock themed door? <laughs> Only for backers that backed at um, $20,000. 
<laughs> You'll get mm. an actual door. That's the sound of Steven making note. Yeah, oh yeah, the door. Doors only. PVD mode? Player versus door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we should we should have a mode where it's like um, Russian roulette, where you'll have six players and you just take turns going through the door, and it's gonna crush somebody. Oh my gosh. But you <laughs> never know who. <laughs> Battle Doyal. Perfect. New game mode. Everyone will copy. 100 doors enter. Only one door leaves. Pay to win. Um, you say game battered, where... battle door, door ba yow. Battle door yeah. yow. <laughs> I'm really stretching it, I know. So that is obsidian. Oh, Cocaine Moon says door to win instead of pay to win. Hmm. <laughs> I like, I can't even. <laughs> so, what would DLC stand for? Or it'd have to be Dawn, DLC. Dawn loadable content? Uh, door locked content. Door locked content. You know how, like, um,. Sometimes at the end of games, you get like a gallery of like the enemies that you faced. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just have the doors you've gone <laughs> through. <laughs> Don't forget to close the door <laughs> <laughs> on your way out. Thanks for playing. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Ooh, Justin just showed some uh, some proxies that he's worked on. They're pretty cool. Ooh. He's fast. So, who else made the mistake of updating to Windows 1809? I did. Not yet. Uh-oh, is that a thing? Yeah, it's I... a problem for some people. Yeah, I updated it. I updated my copy of Windows before they pulled it. I have proof. I've got, I've got the dark theme on the Windows Explorer. Um, a lot of people have been having problems. I haven't had any problems, apart from a few <coughs> sound things. But uh, that happens every time I update my Windows. The scariest sounding thing is the people um, losing uh, some data in their hard drive. Yeah, files are going to walk about. Yeah. I primarily... I, I got the update straight away just for the dark theme, so I'm not... So when it's stupid o'clock in the morning, my eyes aren't being burnt by bright windows everywhere. Man, these textures do look pretty good. I'm watching this uh, little video that Justin posted to our art channel. It's like, this looks pretty sweet. I mean, hmm. it's got some some love, you know, need some love here and there, but. Hopefully we nice. can show off some stuff soon. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Dan, this looks too easy. Make it harder on yourself. <laughs> uh, oh, I know. I'll do it one-handed. Oh, God. <laughs> Weez202 says, Hey, what's this project all about? This is System Shock, the remake. That's coming in 20-whenever. I am Daniel. I am level 
produce level level creator guy. Levelman. And Levelman. Oops, that was one too many. When did that become a thing, Carly? I think that you're like you started that, didn't you? Uh, I'm sorry, I missed all of that because people are talking. <laughs> Can you repeat that? It's not an important question. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's okay. I don't have the texture for that wall, so I'm going to have to leave that alone. What? Uh, some of the, yeah, some of the textures aren't in the game yet, so I have to leave them blank. Like that platinum, what's it called? Platinum burnished, burnished platinum paneling. That isn't in the game yet, so I can't put it on. Not in the game yet. Are those red barrel things going to be changed to radiation waste barrels? Um, we will most likely have another type of barrel that will contain radiation, but these ones contain biological waste. All right, that's that. Kilgore Trout says, I can't wait until you get rid of all those textures and change everything to gray checkerboards. <laughs> we'll call it the Gration Mode. <sighs> Am I ever going to continue streaming character art creation? Uh, yeah, probably. At some point. When we, when we get to that. You just need to find a time when you're not so horrendously busy. Yeah, um, I could, um, I can pick that up again. Um, we just really need to kind of nail down the character pipeline, which we haven't really worked on yet. So I don't want to keep doing more work, um, knowing that things are probably going to change. Yeah. One thing we don't want to do is waste time. Because um, that can sometimes happen. So we need, need to get things nailed down proper. Mexican Swiss asks, is the final level supposed to be a living like texture to the walls just like the many? Um, it's like, like a very like Giger-ish kind of alien biomech. Oh yeah. Kind of look bit, thank you for following. Good to oh, have yeah. you here. Wolfenbach wants to cheat that turns all enemies into doors. <laughs> we should, uh, you know, what we really got to do is make doors that you can only unlock by paying 99 cents. Oh my goodness. Pay to progress. Can we hire Steven Russell to narrate our streams? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? No, don't say that! Steven Russell? He's only the guy who voiced Garrett and Corvo. And oh, grumbly guy. <laughs> and he was in Skyrim and yeah. He's an amazing guy. Uh, You're going to get burned Drove? for this now in the chat, you know. Well, I just don't remember his name. Whatever. Drove Blit wants to know, is Chris <laughs> Avalon still working with you? Yeah, uh, he worked on us, worked <laughs> worked with us very early on and got a lot of his stuff done. Um, and so he hasn't been working with us right now. He's been pretty busy with um, some of his other projects, but... Uh, we will probably consult with him in the future again. He did write so, quite a bit for us. We've just hit about our hour mark. So if we want to wrap things up, any last questions, any last comments, thoughts, opinions? 
you say opinions? Yeah, opinions are okay too. But only if they're from you. <laughs> only from us. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's an opinion. I believe that when the Greeks referred to ambrosia, the nectar of the gods, they were actually speaking about sour cream. Oh, I thought you were mm. going to say LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> I just... You threw me off. <laughs> ah, um, any last questions? Well, third player just called me a taffer. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I did that once. I said that to you, and you you got really cross with me. <laughs> You call me a taffer? Yeah, I, I said. I said, "Well, have fun, taffer." And you went, "What did you call me?" I'm like, I, <laughs> don't you don't you know what that is? No. Why would you call me that? And then I had to explain that that was the thing that people call each other in thief. All right, we just got another hundred bits with the question: pizza or tacos? From signing Raidwald. Pizza. Oh God, that's impossible. Uh, that's a hard decision. I would probably have to go with tacos. Um, just because I like it more than I like pizza. But I haven't had pizza in a while, and that's really good right now. I had a really good calzone for lunch today. Get out of here with your calzones. But, <laughs> um, if we're talking, like, street tacos, like, with lingua, and it's, like, the little kind, or yes. the kind that I make with the hard shell in there, make, like, a gordita, like a homemade, oh, pretty good. I, they have uh, a point by saying taco pizza. Just combine them. I'm hungry yeah. now. Mm. Which is a thing. I get taco pizzas at this restaurant near my mom's house a lot. It's very good. Well, the meat is really, really good on it. <sighs> hungry. I've been doing I'm the... Uh, too. Like, whenever I get a chance of getting, like, a really authentic taco, I'll get, like... Um, lingua which is like tongue or like um head cheese have you ever had that no no what <laughs> what do they call it uh no idea. queso cabeza or something like that it's pretty good it's like garbage parts of the animal <laughs> Okay, are we going to wrap things up there then? I think we should. Yep. Oh, I'm telling um, the Siamek9 that a calzone is not a taco pizza, it's an empanada. I had fajitas the other day. They were delicious. I like fajitas. I love Mexican food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gonna... I don't like to eat tripe. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ugh. no thanks. All right, gonna call it there because I'm getting tired and need to break my eyes hurt. So, yeah, thanks guys ever so much for joining us. Um, maybe back earlier, I don't know. I'm feeling in the mood to play System Shock 2, so I might do a separate stream later on this week with that because it is Ooh. horror week after all. So Yeah, I'm doing Resident Evil 7 on Wednesday and possibly Friday. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. So yeah. Cool. I want right. to play a game. <laughs> play a game. Like, I'll what? start off. I'll start off the Friday with RE Seven, and then you pick another game to play after. Oh, you know I could play. Who? What would it be? I kind of want to play the remaster of Resident One. Ooh, that could be cool. Maybe. It'll be a Resident Evil day. Oh God, yeah, I I've played that. It's really, 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 really good. The uh, it's it's just called R E Remake, isn't it? Resident Evil Remake. It's very good. Re Re. Yeah, Re Re. Uh, <laughs> it's very good. I can't wait for Resident Evil Two. Oh, it's gonna be yeah, so. That'll good. be really cool. It's gonna I'm be excited so, for that too. It's gonna be so good. You know they're charging like sixty bucks for it. Oh yeah. damn! I mean, it does look beautiful. It's like a complete remake. Yeah, but still, I'm I was not like, complaining. 
That's a little much. Isn't it? A little bit? No. I uh, I don't know. It depends. It depends on how good it is in the end. Like, if it really is, like, controls are great, art is great, and everything is, like, very clean, then I'll be like, yeah, this was good and worth. I think it will be. I mean, it's... <sighs> I... I... I have no complaints. It just looks great from the gameplay. Um, so far, I, yeah. Yeah. All right. Gonna call it there now because I'm getting tired and stuff. So, yep. See you guys later. As always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Yeah. And stay hydrated. That's an order. <laughs> Be thirsty or less thirsty. Mm hmm. Don't forget to close the door behind you. <laughs> Close all doors. Remain inside. All right, guys. Well, bye. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Awkward goodbye. <laughs> Take care.